All right, what is going on, guys? AS Rose here, back in the better with another video. And today we got another banger from the channel, Anna Oop, and we're going to be going in on not only Alabama Barker, but Tana Mojo as well. So, a little backstory before we get into the video, just for those who aren't aware um, Alabama caught herself in the crossfire of the internet again on TikTok because she had posted a video to her TikTok account and someone commented under her video saying it's giving Tana Mojo. And her response made the internet go crazy. And not only that, she hit up somebody who I think either does makeup or hair. And when it came down to the other person getting a flight to see Alabama so they can do what they do for her, mid-flight Alabama ghosted them. So, yeah, but it, the rest of it, y'all going to see. So, but I'm not, I'm not going to hold y'all no longer with this video, man. With that being said, are y'all ready? Man, let's get it, Tan. I'm about to cook your goose looking ass. Alabama Barker, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> this really surprised me, okay? Like, and I had to go back to our DMs. I'm going to right now just to like, just to like really, did she block me? <gasps> no way. She f blocked me. She did not. She f f blocked me. She did not. She f f f blocked me. And oh. so I literally booked a plane ticket for LA. I spent like once again two thousand dollars. I had like barely any other collabs lined up because this was gonna be like the main one. I fly down here. I'm on the plane and I'm texting them and I'm like, hey, on my way to LA. No response. I'm like, okay, oh, no, no big deal. I DM them again and again and they leave my messages on red and they don't respond. So yeah, so th this is what I was talking about. Obviously, y'all know who Tenda Mojo is, but I'm not too familiar with the other girl on Trisha Paytas' podcast, but that that's who Alabama ghosted. But, but bro, as soon as I seen Trisha Paytas, I'm like, ugh, nigga, you still exist. I thought you fell off, yo, Miss Piggy looking ass, but, but nah, nah. But Tenda, I, I don't know how everyone else look at you in Bama, but y'all just don't go together, and you never did, to be honest. If Bama did block you, then you probably deserved it, mostly because you genuinely look like that duck from the Aflac commercial. Y'all remember what I'm talking about? Y'all remember Aflac? <laughs> Aflac. Oh, my soul. <laughs> the year has barely started, but Alabama Barker is already the center of a lot of controversies. From going on TikTok and throwing shade at Tana Mojo to allegedly telling Kayla Malik to spend $2,000 on a plane ticket to come and see her and then ghosting her. Y'all, Alabama Barker can't seem to shake the drama. And did I mention that she got her ridiculously expensive watches stolen in the bathroom of a fast food restaurant the other day? Loves, this tea is too hot. Damn, you got robbed too? Oh yeah, see at this point it is most likely Tana fault. No, actually, I really don't know. But what I do know is that, Bama, you need to chill out, bro, because this ain't the first time she got called out for ghosting people. And I don't know if Bama thinks she better than somebody because she be around the Kardashians or because she walk around this bitch with $100,000 on her wrist. But you need to stop because the only reason why you famous is because of your dad. And you know it. And your status only grew because of the Kardashians after your dad married one of them. But nonetheless, they all sold. They sold and they all a part of the Freemasons, except for Bama, because I think I think. Bama would fall under the category of either like the Rainbow Girls or the Jobs Daughters, which those are for uh, girls ages 12 through 21. And if you think I'm lying, you can go look it up. It's just like the Demo Lays, but the Demo Lays are for the dudes. And these specific organizations are used to create future Masons that will lead and be influential and shit like that and push their Masonic agenda or whatever. And oh, you thought I was done, Bama? No. Snap of the finger on their ass again. What is you talking about? And here, Bama can be seen with the goats in, as well as doing the one eye symbolism. And we know how these celebrities love to worship goats, a.k.a. Baphomet. So, yeah, Bama, you and the Kardashians are not slick. So recently, Alabama took to her TikTok to upload this fairly innocent video of her and her friend just dancing. <laughs> Throwing the middle finger up randomly, you know, things that normal people do on the internet. Y'all, the video was all fun and games until someone commented saying, it's giving Tana mongoose. Loves, Alabama didn't like this comparison at all and quickly replied saying, no thanks. Y'all, this sent her comments into a spiral with people shocked that she would throw shade at Tana Mojo like that. I mean, it wasn't necessarily shade. All she said was no thanks. So it's not giving Tana Mojo to her, which I want her to say. I mean, she can say a lot of things. It's a lot that she can say. And it's a lot that I know she want to say that she just don't say. But I feel like no thanks was the best response. Now, Bama could have went out her way and been like, man, skip that fake ass Powerpuff girl looking at bit. I mean, like, come on now. You she could have said anything. 
To begin with, Tana was visibly pissed off, but she was trying to keep her emotions in check as she went on a rant about Alabama. According to her, this caught her so off guard because she thought that she and Alabama were cool. They hadn't talked in a while, but she assumed that they were cool, and then out of nowhere, she's hearing Alabama was low-key calling her ugly. Anyways, Tana revealed that from way back in 2018, when Alabama was around 12 years old, she started DMing her telling her she looked pretty, and then Tana and Alabama started talking more regularly and they were sharing beauty tips, and they were even making plans to hang out together. They basically developed a big sis, little sis relationship. I don't know about that relationship now. That shit cooked. Tana mad because Alabama outshined her <clears throat> because of her dad. <clears throat> and now Bama thinks she's too good for her. Simple. Bama, you could really be the next big thing. Like, I just want you to get away from that Hollywood sojo soul satanic occult nonsense bro you you could be you could be you could have kept posting on youtube but i guess that didn't work out for you because you're too lazy because you everything is handed to you because you just spoiled you know what <laughs> let me stop while i'm ahead bro i mean i've already said i've already said so much already but i mean you you kind of you it's it's kind of getting spoiled a little bit you their friendship was really solid well that's at least what tana thought now in 2021 travis alabama's dad started dating kourtney kardashian and because of that more and more attention starts falling on alabama and then seemingly overnight her fame level just skyrocketed and that's when tana and alabama started losing touch they started talking less and less until one day Tana noticed that Alabama had unfollowed her. And then it was like, she kind of blew up, you know? And yeah. then she just stopped hitting me and whatever. And that's just kind of how LA like works. And yeah, like, she became now. a fucking Kardashian. Like, I'm not tripping on that. I, I know that that's 80% of people in LA, whatever. But I still would comment on her photos now and again, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I noticed one day that she's unfollowed me. Right, and it's kind of like okay. Maybe she unfollowed you because you look like you eat pine cones and shove the rest up your nose for later. You funky face bastard. You look like a malnourished master splinter. And okay, I'm just playing. No, I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I, I always do that, bro. I mean, like I'm just playing. No, I'm not, cause I, I'm really not playing, cause she really look like she do that. But no, I, I be on the unfollow train too. But for me personally, like I. I gotta have a really good reason to unfollow you and more than likely I'm not gonna tell you but you know what you did. I, I haven't even been on Instagram since like what, March 3rd, bro? I took a break to be honest so I could focus more on God, my work, my career, and you know, coming up with just new coping skills to better my mental and just trying to stay elevated mentally and just elevated in general and um, just doing what I can to be the best version of myself. No, uh, I was already MIA but I kept Instagram for like one person and that same person's birthday is coming up soon so i really don't have a choice but to reinstall it soon and wish her a happy birthday and if i don't i might just go missing so if anything happens i already told y'all ahead of time i just wish i knew who i was talking about shorty is so like she is so genuine so beautiful let i'm getting off track let me stop but y'all y'all already know the info bro I posted a tiktok the other day and someone commented on it and said it's giving tana mongoose and she responded back to their comment and she said, no thanks. Oof. No thanks. Yeah. No thanks. First of all, if looking like me is giving no thanks, why'd you slide in and say, say I was I'm pretty? So pretty yeah. Why did you want my hair girl 17 times? Like, what? you know what I mean? Like, I, you, you were trying to give Tana Mongoose with the on tape ends when you asked me who did that. Y'all, Alabama got a lot of backlash from this, leading to her to issue a quick response to avoid getting canceled. She wrote, didn't mean it in a negative way. We just don't resemble each other. Newsflash, not every blonde needs to be compared. There you go, Bama. There you go. Best thing you could have said. So if Alabama didn't mean it in a negative way, why is Tana so pressed? And what Tana bringing up as far as how they used to be cool and how she hit Tana up first, bitch. 2018 was like six years ago and she was still young and over time her mentality changed. So with that being said, how she once viewed you, she doesn't look at you the same no more, Tana. Just accept the fact that you are lame and you always will be. Anyways, after this, you might think that Alabama might have learned her lesson or something and decided to lay low for a while or something. Well, you will be seriously mistaken because just two days after Tana vented about her, Kayla Malik went on Trisha Paytas' podcast and straight up exposed Alabama for scamming her. I don't even know who she is, but you look like you want to be Nessa Berry or some shit. Like, it's giving Nessa Berry. That I just had to say that. I'm sorry. 
Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> On top of that, Alabama made a TikTok basically asking Kayla to fly to LA to come so Alabama could do her makeup. Plus, that TikTok blew up, getting close to 10 million views, so this was basically a no-brainer decision for Kayla. Getting the chance to collab with Alabama would have been massive for her. Now, of course, Kayla quickly booked a flight to LA, which cost her like $2,000 just to come see Alabama. So while she's on the plane, Kayla is DMing Alabama to let her know that she's on the way, but Alabama doesn't respond. She texts Alabama again and again, and all of them just get left on red. Kayla lands in LA only to realize that Alabama has completely ghosted her after her making her fly all that way. Okay, so it was makeup and not hair. I tweaked. My bad. But damn, your dumb ass spent $2,000 for no reason. Hey, if I was her in that situation, I would have just mixed the bitter with the sweet and enjoyed myself while I was out there, nigga. What is Alabama ghost of me doing to my soul? Absolutely nothing because karma's a bitch. But Kayla, did you properly set up an appointment and book it with Bama or did you just go out your way to wing it random day wise, which then resulted in you getting ghosted because you were unprofessional? Loves, when people learned of this, they quickly flooded Alabama's comments to call her out, and Alabama's response left people in shock. Some commented saying, Kayla spent $2,000 on a ticket for you to do her makeup and you ghosted her. Girl, what? But Alabama replied saying, never told her to book it. Y'all, this got people angry considering just two days earlier, Alabama was getting canceled because of the shade that she threw at Tana Mojo. So it's no surprise when angry people just flooded her comments. They were saying, deleting comments, Alabama, pay Kayla the money it took to fly out. Stop being a spoiled Nepo baby. I will comment every day. I'm petty. Spoiled Nepo baby is wild. And uh, Alabama ain't got to do nothing. I, I mean, I can understand if they booked everything and then set it up and then Bama goes to Kayla, but she didn't even tell her to book it, which lets me know Kayla was on unprofessional starstruck timing. So whose fault is that again? Oh, okay. After this, people started calling Alabama spoiled and a Nepo baby. And in response, she posted this video. Damn. I gotta change my ways. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start a podcast called Nepo Babies. Anyway, love you guys. Keep talking about me. Now, she quickly deleted the video, but not before a bunch of people saw it first. But in the middle of all this drama, news came out that Alabama was robbed in the bathroom of a fast food restaurant and lost two of her luxury watches. Alabama took to her IG stories to reveal that she had lost her Patek Philippe and Cartier watches. This was after she went into a bathroom in a fat burger in Burbank, California. However, it's unclear how exactly she lost them. Like, did she leave them on in the sink or something? But she said she was extremely heartbroken about it. She wrote, Who Whoever took my Paydeck and Cartier watch out of the fat burger bathroom a day ago in Burbank, I have a reward for you. Please give it back. Loves, she then posted a couple pics of the watches and they are allegedly up to $100,000 each. Oh yeah, if that was me, you most definitely wasn't getting them bitches back. I was going to definitely sell them to the highest bidder and then after I sold them, <laughs> I was going to brag about it to you directly in the DM on Instagram telling you to come get it back and blood. No, let me stop. Talking about I have a reward for you, please give it back. Nigga, as soon as I pull up, I'm finna get 100 shots set my way. You not finna sacrifice me and then she acting like she don't got a rich family that could just buy you like 10 more of those in different colors or something Bama, you better stop playing now since then alabama had shared a screenshot from fat burger in which they told her they found her watches they said hi alabama we saw the news on your watches and immediately reached out to our local franchise they found your watches in the bathroom and put them in the safe as they didn't know who they belonged to please let us know when you can stop by the store for us to return to you and alabama replied expressing her gratitude and relief that her priceless possessions were found but that wasn't the end of the drama because after all this drama in just a span of a few days she posted a photo that many felt was inappropriate for a person of her age. People were quick to tell her to take the pic down, but she didn't seem to listen. Okay, so she didn't get robbed. Cool. But my question is, how did you leave it in the bathroom? Like, were you high or drunk? Like, I mean, you, you need to explain, Bama. And then with this explicit picture I just seen right here, all I can really say is that, hey, she 18 now, so technically can't nobody tell her what to do. She can wear whatever she please, in my opinion. That's just me. Other people might feel differently, though. A while back, she had faced the same issue and decided to share a post on Instagram saying, let's stop getting mad on my page that you felt the need to over me and have a problem with it. I'm not going to wear long sleeves, etc., to make the internet not the body I was born with. If you have a problem, unfollow me. After this, she followed it up with a pinned comment from a fan that read, I understand that she's a minor, but what bugs me is the 
the fact that all of you guys are judging her when God knows all of us did the same shit she's doing at her age. Maybe you guys should put down the gavel and take a good look in the mirror before you pass judgment on her. We all did it and you all know it. Get off your high horse. Let her live. See, that's the thing. Whoever that person was that said that, you said that like that was going to change something. People still going to have something to say about her. And then who, who is this we you speak of talking about we all did it once? They go, who was we? I know you're not talking about me. You couldn't be. And guys, it doesn't seem like people really let her live. Anyways, it's a new year. That is just a month old drama. And drama just seems to follow Miss Alabama Barker everywhere she goes. And I think we haven't heard the last of her yet. No, we definitely haven't, Anna. This is just the beginning. So, Bama, please be careful with your sucked on lemon head ass and what you do. But this is where I will be wrapping up the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. Share this video with your friends. And follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box below. And with that, I mean, I love all of you forever. And always, I will see you in the next video. But okay. did you know that your girl okay. was from the itty bitty titty committee trying to get litty litty when you wanna run up? I'ma hit you with the fucking 50 niggas wanna touch that shit, but never really about that shit. I got a question for you, nigga. How you really do that shit? Hey.